This video does not call for violence. The video shows the natural feeding process of the common fly catcher. Hello, we still try to surprise you. And today we will find out what happens if a fly catcher sees a flock of large flies. To do this, we need a small aquarium with sand and a lid. Now, when everything is ready, let's figure it out who is this fly catcher. The common fly catcher, or as it is also called Scutigera, is a centipede from the order of fly catchers, the class of Lebipods. An adult fly catcher reaches a length of 35 to 60 millimeters. The body color is yellowish gray or brown with three reddish purple or blue strips along the body. The legs are also stripped. Like all arthropods, the flycatcher has an external skeleton composed of chitin and sclerotin. The body is flattened, divided into 15 segments, each of which has a pair of legs. The last pair of legs of the flycatcher is the longest and looks like antennae, so it is not always possible to immediately determine where the centipede's head is. The flycatcher's first pair of legs evolved into mandibles for prey capture and defense. Well-developed compound eyes are located on each side of the head. The antenna of the flycatcher are very long, whip-like, consisting of 500 to 600 segments. For of this flycatcher, I prepared a flock of large flies so that you and I could understand why this centipede was called a flycatcher after all. What's extraordinary is that a newly hatched flycatcher has four pairs of legs, the number of which increases with each molding to five, seven, nine, and thirteen pairs. After another five moldings, the number of legs increases to 15 pairs. I didn't manage to put all the flies into this aquarium with the fly catcher, as she immediately grabbed two flies. Thanks to her long, numerous legs, she can hold several flies like a lattice pressing them to the surface. In general, the flycatcher is a predator insect. It hunts flies, cockroaches, termites, spiders, fleas, moths, and others. Flycatchers kill their prey by injecting venom and then eating the prey. The flycatcher is active both during the day and the night. Compared to other centipedes, it moves very quickly, reaching speeds of up to 40 cm per second. During this time, you will only have time to blink your eyes. The flycatcher has excellent eyesight, which, given its speed, makes it an excellent hunter. It often sits on the walls of houses, where it chases flies, crickets and other insects. In relation to human, the flycatcher living in an apartment does not do any harm to food or furniture. Flycatchers are not aggressive but may bite in self-defense. Most often, their mandibles are not strong enough to pierce human skin. If the centipede manages to do this, then the bite feels like a bee sting. The flycatcher's venom is too weak to pose a serious threat to pet dogs, cats or other large animals. Due to their ability to destroy insects, flycatchers are considered very useful. However, many people get rid of them because of their unpleasant appearance. Also in some southern countries, they are on the contrary protected by people. I think our centipede proved that it is not in vain called a flycatcher. If you were interested, be sure to like the video. And that's all for now. Peace to your home. No war.